meant? Oh, um, that I can't sit down and I feel like my organs are being pushed out of my body, sl my body slowly. Please, please do not lose your organs. We need you. <laughs> oh, I should have said that. No, it's really great. Listen, we love corsets. And I, oh, yeah. I feel super tucked in. Now, did you have to wear a corset in Les Mis? Every day. And how did that feel? Because I've done that before. Um, you know, you get used to it after a while. Your body does kind of, um, yeah, it, it, it adapts to it. Um, it's good. I, I like it um, because, you know, on, on, a, on a day where you're not so, when you're bloated, you don't have to worry about that. And it's also the period. It was just the costumes were just so stunning. I, I don't know. I, I prefer a corset over a, a non-corseted costume. Oh, so do I. It makes me feel tall. I want to tell you something. I really respect you. You have done two movie musicals now. I want you to come to Broadway and do one. What do you think about that? Uh, are you casting me in something? Yes, opposite me, girl. All right. I'll yes. do it. <laughs> okay. We heard that here first. Before you go, I want to introduce you to what we're calling our Oscar mystery. Now, over there is a really cool piece of movie history. All night, I'll be giving clues and asking people if they can guess what it is. And Amanda, I'm giving you the first crack at it. So, uh, here's a clue. It was made from over 2,000 individual components. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, she's thinking. It's a head. <laughs> Of course, she says it's a head. We've heard Amanda's guess. Now we want yours. Tweet what you think it is inside this box using the hashtag Os Oscar Mystery. That was good. Toss